The ladies of The View attacked Patrick Mahomes' wife for liking a pro-Trump Instagram post. Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about the ladies of The View attacking Brittany Mahomes, who is Patrick Mahomes' wife. And yes, that Patrick Mahomes, the multiple-time Super Bowl champion, Kansas City Chiefs quarterback, one of the best quarterbacks to ever do it, in my humble opinion, but I don't want to get into NFL football talk right now, so I digress. The point is that they attacked her because she liked a pro-Trump Instagram post in August. We're now in late September. It's September the 20th, 2024, and they're talking about that. The view, all they do at this point is attack Trump and attack anyone who has anything to say about Trump. And when they bring on guests, they want them to attack Trump. And if they don't, disappoint it. Just like Usher. Usher didn't really get into that and they didn't like it. It wasn't enough that he said that he supports Kamala Harris. Nope. You got to say that Trump is a demon. He is the funny mustache guy. He's all that times 10 and more. If you go there, you pretty much got to say that. Now, before we continue and get to the clip, let's get to the actual post here. Here's the post. Okay. It might be kind of hard to see. But let's just check it out. The 2024 GOP platform, Make America Great Again. And that's from Trump's actual official account. And you can see right there in the circle portion that she liked it. People saw that and they didn't like that at all. Okay, still in the border and in inflation. You know, they're not, they're not really worried about that. Tax cuts for workers. I guess these are bad things. I guess these things make her a bad person. And I suppose she responded. And she says, I mean, honestly... To be, in hate, to be a hater as an adult, you have to have some deep-rooted issues you refuse to heal from childhood. There's no reason your brain is fully developed and you hate to see others doing well. I think that's uh, pretty well said. I don't have any disagreements or complaints about that, but some people did. Uh, the ladies on The View, they don't like that too much at all. Um, so let's go ahead and get straight to it, shall we? And of course, this will be in the box but without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. The answer, and that, <laughs> yeah, that does make me hopeful, actually, that this swift effect uh, will speak to more women about the true character of Donald Trump and, and, and will turn them away. But to your initial point, I know you said we weren't going to talk about it, but I was. Um, it just seems to me that since she is in an interracial marriage, um, she should have known that to support a racist is problematic. Let's pause. Now, I got to pause for two reasons. Number one, the view, they love doing copyright claims. But number two, what does her race or who she's married to got to do with anything? I don't care if you're married to a black man, a white man, a mixed man, which is mixed. But I don't care if you're married to a woman, if you're a woman, if you could be gay, married to a man. I don't really care too much about nothing. What does that got to do with anything? What makes Trump a racist? I keep hearing this, this word being thrown around. And it's, it's to the point now when you can't prove that someone's a racist and you just say that the word no longer has any meaning. Why would I take it seriously when anytime anyone says that it's, it's nothing, it's no actual racism. It's like the boy you cry at wolf. You keep saying this, the wolf is the wolf is the wolf. And when people come to try to save you from the wolf, it ain't no wolf. So then when the wolf actually comes, which it might actually hit, you know, there may be an instance of racism, but because we've used this term falsely so much over and over again, it's become a pattern and nobody believes it anymore. And in this case, it's the same thing. Where's the racism? Where is that at? Um, her children are, are biracial and she, her family is one of the families in, that in the 70s could not have lived in any of Donald Trump's buildings. So... It, 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 like, is that is that true? Is that correct? No, there was a lawsuit, but what's that got to do with anything? Anybody could sue anybody for any reason. Just like uh, Nick Cannon and Mariah Carey, their nanny sued them because their baby headbutted the nanny. A baby. Talking about some pain and suffering. A baby? Anybody could sue for anything. Where is the evidence of racism? And if Trump was so racist in New York City in the 70s, then why was he hanging out with all the black folks in New York City? Why was he their best friend? And as a matter of fact, he was friends with others. We're going to show in a minute. Y'all hang tight. It just seems to me that maybe she's just not that politically savvy. 
So she, so she's a moron, basically. So basically, you calling her dumb. That's okay, typical stuff. And then when we call them mouth breathers and knuckle draggers on their side, then we're the bad ones. We're the bullies. I'm bullying bullies here. I don't like believing. I don't believe in bullying regular people. I think that's ridiculous. I think you need to be, you know, you need you need to get. I ain't gonna say what you should have happen to you, but I don't like this kind of behavior from people. Or maybe she's just not well, read it. Granted, but it's all we know is that she liked a Trump yeah. post. We yeah. don't know. She, she hasn't has since, stated she has since that she supported him, because... but that's fair to interpret that she may have, but we don't know that she's a supporter. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that. Now, like they said toward the end or kind of alluded to that she took the like off. <laughs> they're, they're monitoring her likes and when she removes the like, oh, she took it off, must mean something. I mean, get a life at a certain point. But let's let's watch this, okay? Please welcome my friend, Donald Trump. Now, I'm not really sure what year this was. This is not recent, obviously. Just so, oh, ABL, you showing old clips? This is new. This is not a recent clip. This is from years ago, obviously. But look at the way they treated him. We're so happy to have you. Whenever you're on, whenever you're on with us, we're very happy. We love it. Okay. Whenever you're on with us, we're very happy. Kissing Whoopi Goldberg. What's that? Barbara Walters. Kissing all these people right on the, on, the, on the cheek, maybe even on the lips. And it's totally fine. No problem. They loved him back then. But all of a sudden, now they don't love him. So what's really going on? I'm going to play a little bit more of this. Okay. So I'm going to take you at your word that you have not decided yet when you're going to run, but you're thinking about it and you've expressed some of your views. Uh, which are controversial and in many ways, uh, yeah, but, but, not, but, not to her. <laughs> well, not to her. Okay. You're a Republican. So, but, but let's say. So this is really weird because they're saying that he might run. They're saying he's a Republican. They're saying his views are controversial yet. It's all hugs and kisses when they see him. Funny how that works. And now all of a sudden he's the evil man. Now all of a sudden he wouldn't, rent to black folks in the 1970s is this 1970s when they're kissing them all on his face when they're hugging them when they're pretty much saying that he is their favorite guy in the whole world i mean come on man let's stop the nonsense was he a racist as i come back was trump a racist when he funded jesse jackson's not one but two presidential campaigns not one but two campaigns for jesse jackson donald trump funded was he a racist when he was on Fresh Prince, he was a racist in Home Alone. Like, was he a racist during all this time that he's been a mega celebrity? I've never heard about him being a racist at all, ever, until he came down the escalator and then it became serious. Maybe they thought, oh, he, he's not really going to run. He won't really win. But then when he did run and when he did win, now things change. As I close, I want to say this. Shout out to Brittany Mahomes for standing up for what you believe in and don't let them uh, make you back down. Stand on it. You like what Trump said? You like the policies? Like it, embrace it. I understand how it can be being in the public eye, being someone who's expected to be one way, being a woman, and then you got this, the race thing going on. I get it 100%, but stand on that. We support you. These mouth breathers on The View, they, they're just hateful. That's all they're there for is to hate. That's all they're gonna do. Their entire program is spent hating on one person. And that's a pretty sad way to exist, if you ask me. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on this whole Brittany Mahomes kerfuffle? Is it a nothing burger? Is it something? Uh, whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. How you feel about the view and how they used to treat Trump? That might have been in 2014, 2015. Who knows? Right before he ran... It's not from the 1970s, not from the 19th. This is a, it's, it's, it's in the, within the past decade, I would say. Long after allegations of racism were lobbed, nobody believed them then. They didn't believe it. So why all of a sudden do they now believe it? It's fake. And my, here's my thing. If you're going to have an opinion, if you're going to be one way, go ahead. That's totally fine. Whatever it is. Whether you love Trump, hate Trump, don't really care about Trump, don't really care about voting or whatever, that's fine. But just be real, be authentic, be sincere. Don't just flip-flop because the bag says, hey, if 
Don't just flip flop because there's a bag of money, a pot of gold at the end of your lie. I don't like that at all. I like real and authentic people. Even if you are against me politically, I respect you when you are true to yourself, when you're being 100% genuine and you're not doing things for the validation and the attention of others. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.